And now, now yield one minute to the gentlelady from Alabama, Ms. Sewell. Gentlelady from Alabama is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, with only 14 legislative days left before Congress lets out for the test, I want to register my disappointment that my Republican colleagues are now willing to spend yet another hour, five hours, um, for the 31st time in trying to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Instead of using this valuable time to put our country back on track by investing in job creation and stimulating economic growth, House Republicans have opted to, to, to divisive politics and partisan politics. I believe enough is enough. The American people deserve better, and frankly, my constituents expect better. Not only has the Affordable Care Act been passed in both houses of Congress and signed by the President, it was upheld by the highest court in the land merely two weeks ago. By now, we should be moving forward and acknowledging the benefits of the Affordable Care Act, which the, which the House Republican leadership cannot seem to grasp. In my dis district alone, the reality is that 77,000 seniors receive affordable prescription drugs now. The reality is that 36,000 children in my district can no longer be denied coverage for pre-existing conditions. We must get back to the work of the people. I am reminded, once again, that we've had 14 days left till recess. Please, let's get back to the business of the House, which is getting people back to work. Thank you.